Good morning, and thank you for joining me again for Kingdom Kids. Well, as you know, it's summertime, and for the past few weeks, we've been talking about the many wonderful things that summertime can teach us about God. And today, we're going to talk about spices and herbs. Now, do you guys know what spices and herbs are? What makes them different from a regular plant? Well, spices and herbs usually smell good. And we add them to our food to give us flavoring. So it's not like a vegetable like a zucchini or a fruit like an apple. Um, you wouldn't necessarily eat just spices for your meal, but they make your meal taste better. They give flavoring to it. And lots of spices also help keep things fresh longer or they can be used as medicine. You know, sometimes if your tummy is hurt, your mom and dad might make you a cup of mint tea. And see, this is a picture of mint, and mint is an herb that grows in the summertime. And there's another herb, basil, that I have grown all over my garden right now. And it's used in all sorts of meals, to, and it gives a wonderful, fresh, summery flavor. So what does that have to do with God, though? Well, in the Bible, King Solomon was visited by people from all over the world who wanted to share in his wisdom and they would bring things to him. And so in Second Chronicles, it says this, year after year, everyone who came to see King Solomon brought a gift, articles of silver and gold and robes, weapons and spices and horses and mules. Isn't that interesting? They brought, spices were so special and so important and so rare back then that they were a special gift good enough to bring a king. And if you remember, in the New Testament, when we learn about the birth of the baby Jesus, the three wise men brought some things with them. They bought frankincense and myrrh, and those are also spices, and those were special enough that they gave them to the newborn king. So what does it have to do with us? Well, like we said, spices and herbs add flavor to things. They make things a little better. And one thing God shows us about his nature is that when we have God in our life and when we have Jesus in our life, we have love and we have direction. Without him, life can seem a little bland and a little flavorless. But with him, we know where we are going and we know that we are special. Psalm 34, 8 says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. So God and Jesus, they're the spice of life. And when others are unhappy, we can share their news and we can help flavor their lives with the love of God and Jesus. So that's it for today. But the next time you're eating a meal, think about how the things that are added to it make it even better. All right, have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye.